few thank you page hacks. This is forgotten real estate. This is very important real estate. So when you're offering something, typically some type of a download, a lead magnet, a checklist, a case study, a white paper, whatever it is, you're getting their name, their email, their phone number, any other questions, any other information you want from them, then you redirect them to a what we call a thank you page or a confirmation page. And a lot of people uh, neglect this. And this is, like I said, this is very valuable real estate. They just they just basically raised their hand and said, I'm interested in what you're offering here. Here's my contact information. You can win them over on this thank you page. You can really brand it. There's, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can leverage uh, using a video. I like, uh, sometimes I use a video of myself thanking them, something short. Don't blab on and tell the story about your third grade teacher or how your dad looked at you weird or your aunt Susie at Thanksgiving dinner or anything like that. Make it short. I'd say under like 20 seconds, just short and concise, uh, thanking them, saying, hey, check out your email. The download will be there in a few minutes. You know, typically the email providers take you know, a minute or two, you know, to, I, I usually say like, give me three, uh, check your email inbox for three to five minutes, you know, five to seven minutes, something along those lines. Uh, I like using gifts on the thank you page as well, just to kind of some gifts that I like, hopefully my target market's going to like, or it just kind of sets the tone. That, oh, this guy, uh, this guy, this guy likes to have fun, you know, and I'm going to share six examples with you in just a second of kind of some gifts that I've used or videos I've, I've used over the years, thank you pages that I've used. Uh, but again, don't forget about this real estate. I've, opted into so many damn things over the last nine years and just been like so underwhelmed on the thank you page like not like setting you want to set expectations about what's to come you want to I want to have fun with it if you're super serious then be super serious but I like to have fun with it I like to set the tone I'm going to share with you uh, my new thank you page that I just wrapped up about an uh about two hours ago, uh, I'm switching everything over from ClickFunnels to Elementor, and I just created this thank you page. Um, I actually just got an email from Justin Brook. He sends out emails on Sunday afternoons about traffic hacks or something like that, traffic tips. And one of them was thank you pages. And I'm like, you know what? This is a YouTube video I've wanted to do for six months. Uh, I, I don't talk about it that often. And I'm like, you know what? This is the perfect trigger. I saw that email. I read the blog post. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to shoot a video real quick and uh, gather up some thank you pages to share. So let's dive right in with six thank you page examples that you can get inspiration from. All right, here are six thank you pages for some inspiration. Uh, here's one that I created, uh, God, it was over a year ago. It was some type of a Facebook ads guide I was offering. They submitted their name and their email or email. I can't remember which one. Your guide is on its way. And then I had a YouTube video of mine with uh, Facebook ads for beginners. Uh, it was like a 32 minute video kind of walking you, as you can see, step by step tutorial. As you can see, I didn't even edit the Your Company LLC. This is a ClickFunnels page. Uh, sometimes on the thank you page, I forget that part, but, um, I've also done videos of myself talking here. Um, not a ton of people watch them because they're on, um, uh, a lot of a majority of it's going to be on mobile. Uh, so if you're going to make a video of yourself talking, I like to do it to brand yourself, to put your face on it. Um, make it short. Uh, I would say probably under 30 seconds, probably more like 15 or 20. It's just to get your face, tell them, check your email for the download, whatever you're offering them. But this is one example. Uh, another example, I'm a huge, huge fan of The Office, Michael Scott. Uh, how can you not be? So I said, you're in. And then, of course, his famous line, that's what she said. Uh, check your email in three to five minutes just to have some fun with it. Uh, just just like I said, there's a lot. There's This is wasted real estate space by a lot of people. Um, next one is Phil Dunphy from, um, I can't even think of the damn TV show off the top of my head. Uh, this was one I did years ago. Uh, I did a challenge for real estate agents, I think in 2015. This was on ClickFunnels as well, actually. Uh, you made a great decision and just doing a little thumbs up. Uh, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of GIFs. <laughs> and yes, it is pronounced GIFs. Um, another one, um, the preview wasn't working, so I had to log into ClickFunnels. I don't have ClickFunnels for much longer. Um, but again, you're in. I, I, that, I use that a couple times, as you can see. Uh, Jonah Hill, um, I, I don't know what, I think this is from Superbad. Um, again, just to kind of be funny, have some fun with it. Uh, next one was a tripwire. They off, they, I think this one was, I offered them, as you can see, this was from 2015. Uh, this is in ClickFunnels as well. A, I offered them, uh, a list of niches to get, uh, for Shopify, for e-commerce. And then the thank you page was actually a trip, fun, uh, tripwire where I offered, grab my list of 476 US based suppliers for less than $20. I actually sell that now, uh, and name your own price. You can check the link down below if you're interested in that. Um, 
And then they could just add to cart. So it's kind of like an upsell. Uh, people call it a tripwire, a self-liquidating offer. Uh, I think those are the two things. I'm not a big fan calling it a tripwire. I don't really like the name of that. So, But that's another example. You can upsell them for a product for, I don't know, I've seen people successfully do it with like $37 products, $47 products. A lot of people say under it should be under $10, under $20. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way. Test it. Test the pricing and that. But basically, the goal is to offset your advertising costs. So you, they get an opt in, then you show them something for like seven bucks. Hopefully that seven dollars pays for them as a lead or an opt in. Uh, so you're basically building a list for free. That's kind of the goal with it. And then of, of course, if they're a buyer, they're much more likely to buy other things from you as well. Uh, this is a new one that I actually just did today. I, I've used this. <laughs> I, I always laugh when I see it. Found this one years ago. Uh, a lot of people use this one. You know, Tom Hanks, thanks. Uh, I just actually set this thank you page up today. I'm using Elementor with WordPress. I've switched over from ClickFunnels. I did a video on how to create a membership site with Gumroad and WordPress. You can check up in the upper uh, corner. Um, but again, this is just kind of fun. You know, while you wait for your blueprint, go check out my YouTube channel where I demystify digital marketing for dadpreneurs. That is a goddamn mouthful to say. Um, but I like the alliteration with the demystify, the digital, and of course the dadpreneurs. And then they click here and then it just goes, it opens right up to my YouTube channel where they can check out the videos and subscribe. So those are six videos, uh, six thank you pages to inspire you. There you have it, Dadpreneurs. There are six thank you page examples to give you some inspiration. Like I said, have fun with it. Or like I said, if you're serious, uh, serious Sid, let's say, I'll be serious. But I like to have fun with it. Uh, business is supposed to be fun. Uh, that's why I use gifts like Michael Scott and Phil Dunphy and uh, Jonah Hill. I've used Will Ferrell, the Wedding Crashers, probably my favorite gift out there, Tom Hanks one. Um, but I like to have fun with it. You know, it just sets the tone. Um, it's something they remember. Use a video of yourself. You make a gif of yourself of doing some cool motion and thumbs up or something along those lines. Brand your face, get your face on there. Uh, link to your website, your blog. I don't like putting um, the download on the thank you page. Um, now there's, I don't know if there's a right or wrong way. Some people uh, say it's good to have that because sometimes the email doesn't get delivered or it ends up in spam and then it sets off the wrong tone right away. My thinking, and I heard this from I think Ben Adkins years and years and years ago, um, is you want to train the people to start opening your emails. You want to train them to start looking forward to your emails. So if you put the download link, the ebook, the guide, the cheat sheet, whatever it is, if you put the link on the thank you page, they could check it out and maybe not open your email, that first email, you know. But if it's a good opt in, and I've, I've done it before where I cannot wait to get the email, you know, where I'm like literally refreshing the email, that's the goal you want, waiting for that email to be delivered, you know, waiting for me to, so I can dive into whatever they're offering. That's how excited I'm, that anticipation, you know, that's the goal, you know. So I like to include it in the opening email. You can certainly, like I said, I've heard of people make the argument uh, of including it on the thank you page to give it to them right away, that instant access to it. So it's kind of up to you. Uh, I've done both over the last several years. I've done it through email because of what Ben said. And I think I think that's a very, very valid point because I want them to open my emails because that's the whole goal is to build up the email list and have them open emails, build that relationship, build that know, like, and trust with them and sell them, promote them, whatever you're going to do with that email list. So those are six examples. Like I said, don't forget forget about this real estate. It's very, very important. Leverage it. Use it to your advantage. Uh, and like I said, have some fun with it. So hey, if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell notifications. I put out videos every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Sundays, um, for your viewing pleasure. And as always, if you have comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you drop them down below and I'll do my absolute best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll try to find someone or point you in the right direction or the right resource and try to answer the question. As always, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it.